I'm out here basically to stand with ordinary Guyanese as it relates to our upcoming local government elections, which will be held on the 12th of June, 2023. And you know, um, the concerns surround what would have occurred leading up to nomination for these elections. And after nominations, we discovered what really transpired predominantly in uh, PPPC stronghold areas, whereby you have dead people signing on backers' form. You got persons who are not in the jurisdiction, they too signed. And um, these calls were made. I, I, I'm, I'm aware that our commissioners would have engaged, you know, the GCOM chairman here, bringing to her attention what is really happening. And Sharon, I mean, you cannot be preaching democracy, fair, um, fair elections, free and fair elections, when we have these, these issues, you know, these issues that warrants immediate attention. And I'm extremely surprised at Claudette Singh for her non action and and you know taking the relevant um actions against these egregious acts that were committed and what i find very strangely sharad is this whole issue that i'm still grappling with concerning um oh the opposition should file a petition at the magistrate's court um CK. I, I don't understand that. Where, where in the law suggests that to me? I thought a petition comes after, after an elections, and whichever parties aggrieved would move to the high court, seeking you know remedy to to those issues that were discovered throughout the elections. So I want to say to Guyanese that we all have to come together and add our voices to this call of free and fair elections. You heard, Sharad, Jack Deere is on record after the May 2015 elections in October. He said he wants a clean voters list. He said biometrics. He said electronic voting. He said the then chairman, Dr. Steve Sewage Bali, must go. So Sharad, what has happened to these calls? Isn't it the very calls that the, the opposition is making? Because we recognize that there are major issues surrounding one, the voters list, it's heavily bloated. A population of less than 700, of less than 800,000 people. The last general and regional elections, you had a population of 606 to one thousand voters on your list that in itself should say something to us that we have a bloated voters list so that we must get clean the other thing Sharad, we are calling for biometrics because if we have biometrics voting it would erase many of the egregious acts that we saw leading up to the nomination day for these upcoming local government elections so again, Sharon, these elections are critical and all that I can say is to encourage each and every Guyanese to add their voices to the call of one, a clean voters list. Two, we ain't going to know elections other than we get um, biometric uh, voting. Thirdly, is that we have lost all confidence in Claudette Singh. She has done this nation an injustice. And by right, what she should do is do the honorable thing. Pick up your bag, raise from your seat, and leave graciously. Leave graciously. Let us find competent people who can effectively manage, and manage an elections and give us fair results. So I say again, person should come out here every Tuesday and join in this call because at the end of the day, we are all affected. We are all affected. So my presence out here 
is by merely adding my voice to the call of one, a clean voters list, two, let me get biometric um, voting, thirdly, fraud is fraud, Jack Diem should be investigated, and fourthly, Claudette Singh must go. MP Ferguson, before I let you go, you wrote a very scathing letter in the press quite recently, mm -hmm. um, saying that uh, what we all know, the PP like backdoor, <laughs> and more than like him backdoor, they like middlemen as well. Yes. Talk to us about that because it, 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 it has a touch on concerns, uh, ID cards. Talk to us yes. about that. Yes, well, well Sherrod, the entire nation is aware of this new um, initiative the government is seeking to address, to, to, to bring on stream, and that is the e-ID card thing. Yes, I did write a letter to the editor expressing my concern. As a legislator, Sherrod, I haven't seen anything coming before the National Assembly. I haven't seen, um, the government hasn't released anything much as it relates to why we should go this way. You just cannot wake up one morning because somebody in some other country said, well, look, this might be good for your country. Is so much it going to cost? Or you just sign, close your eyes and sign blindly 25 million US dollars? 25 million US dollars, Sherrod? No, man. What I am saying, Sherrod, or what I have said in that letter is a clear on the is a clear description that i've given that this government is not transparent everything that this government do is it got shady 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 movements behind it we would have seen with the spot next v um vaccine when i had sherrod it was a middleman they didn't that purchase, was yeah, we, still don't know how much exactly. we didn't we didn't purchase directly yeah. from russia you understand me, the, the company that is manufacturing, or would have manufactured the Sputnik V vaccine. What else we recognize, Sharon? We heard to the vice news reporter of what Sue said, that he and Jack Dio, as reported, are very close. And Jack Dio himself admitted that Sue, father, is well known to probably those in the People's Progressive Party Civic and they have been around for some time. So all of the infrastructure arrangements, agreements, who does, who does, who, who does arrange these it's things? So, it's so the middleman. So exactly. you understand me? So with this new ID card that they're bringing on stream, again, Sherrod, who involved a middleman? Yeah. So it clearly says to this nation, that this government, they're not accountable to us as a people, and thirdly, they're not transparent. And this is a regime that ought not to be trusted. And I trust that come June the 12th, 2023, we send a strong signal to them that we have had enough of the corruption, we have had enough of incompetence, we have had enough of non-transparency. We have had enough of non-accountability. And we got to show them by, the, by, 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 by one vote that we reject them through the balance. Thank you very much, MP Ferguson. Thank you You're so much. You're most welcome. Bye-bye.